A second woman now coming forward with accusations towards Supreme Court nominee Judge Brett Kavanaugh. ABC's Janae Norman has the latest on how the Senate is responding as her first accuser is set to testify. The man hoping to become the next Supreme Court justice now facing new sexual misconduct accusations. A second woman, Deborah Ramirez, Judge Brett Kavanaugh's Yale classmate, is accusing the embattled judge of sexual misconduct. The New Yorker reporting she remembers Kavanaugh had exposed himself at a drunken dormitory party. Despite the new allegation, the president is standing by his nominee. There's a chance that this could be one of the single most unfair, unjust things to happen to a candidate for anything. But I am with Judge Kavanaugh, and I look forward to a vote. Kavanaugh denies the claim, saying, quote, this alleged event from 35 years ago did not happen. The people who knew me then know that this did not happen and have said so. This is a smear, plain and simple. But Ronan Farrow, who co-wrote the story, says it's not accurate that those who knew Kavanaugh at the time dispute the claim. We talked to a roommate from the, at the time uh, that was living with him when this alleged incident took place, who said he was indeed frequently drunk, uh, that he took part in activity that made him unsurprised by this claim, and that he found this woman credible. This all comes days before Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, the first woman to lodge sexual misconduct allegations against Kavanaugh, is set to testify on Capitol Hill. In late July, detailing the alleged incident in a letter to Senator Dianne Feinstein, writing, Kavanaugh was on top of me. Kavanaugh tried to disrobe me. With Kavanaugh's hand over my mouth, I feared he may inadvertently kill me. Kavanaugh has denied both accusations, and now at least one Democrat is calling for both allegations to be referred to the FBI for investigation. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington.